Hello everyone, my name is Justin and welcome back to the Carolina Hurricanes Owner Mode Series. You know what I'm sick of? Sick of you guys not commenting on these videos. I'm just kidding, but I would appreciate some more comments and feedback. When I ask you to comment, I would like a few answers at least. I mean, come on. What are you expecting to do? I mean, this is pretty much just me doing it. I mean, there's no interaction. There's no stuff like that. So here we are at the trade deadline, actually. One of our owner's goals was to get a first-round pick. Since there's no comments, I have to make the trading decisions. Um, it took forever to trade Mazaros and Stapniak, which I did off camera. I got a second-round pick in there. I got a third from Mazaros. I used that to help get the second with Stepniak and a sixth, I think. Um, but I am going to trade. Time for the big gun. Jordan Stahl. Now, this might bring up some questions. Some people are going to say, what the heck are you doing? Well, he's 29. Yes, he's a good veteran, but he's almost 30. This is where we could trade, and he's still six years remaining. I mean, this is where he's going to have the most value. It's just going to keep going down. He only has 25 points in 62 games. And we can get a return for him. We're a rebuilding squad. We're not a retooling squad, which we would keep him if we were a retooling squad. So we got to find a playoff team that wants him. Preferably a playoffs team. So I can say it's trade deadline deal. Realistic one. Oh, he doesn't have one year left, but New Jersey interested. Okay. Uh, first things first, we got to be able to lock up this first round pick. We got to go forward back. Sure, we'll take closed contract back. I think we can squeeze something else in here too. We are drafting heavy this year, folks. We'll try to get this. I don't know if that will go through. I'm sorry, Jordan. But it had to be done for the good of our team, our owner. Probably even more out of us than what he already is, which is almost impossible. <laughs> Goals to be completed. I want you to acquire a first round pick for that coming draft. I did that, dude. Maybe I have to sim for him to realize it. Okay, so let's see. What is our owner right now? He is terrible. Okay, let's see if it goes up. Let's see. Let's go to owner goals. Still terrible, and it's only saying. I did that. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure I just traded for a first round pick. Okay, we'd have to trade for one. <clears throat> We're gonna figure this out, folks. We are going to figure this out.
There we go. Cut 25000 to my budget. Fantastic. Let's see if he's still terrible. <laughs> ah, that's amazing. All the great things I've done for this organization, and he, oh, he's still unhappy. All the great things I've done. I've got, I've got us relocating to Baltimore. Um, I have us in the middle of a rebuild that's gonna make us a dominant NHL team, <laughs> and our owner treats us like dirt. So we're just gonna sim to the end of the year, I guess. That's all we got to do. Next episode will be the. Relocation thing, as well as draft, probably, maybe. So, let's set these prices for season tickets. We got these suckers lowered. Hopefully people will want to go see the Baltimore Vessels in their first year. Maybe not. It's probably not going to be a great year next year either. Actually, I want to... I want to make up the lines real quick. I don't want people playing where they shouldn't be. Jeff Skinner's injured, but that doesn't help very much. Okay, so yeah, we do want to be Skinner. Rask, Marsh, and... Caravine in Sure that looks fine. I'm mainly worried about defense here. Folk slabbing. I'm gonna try putting him up there because he's not growing. Okay. Maybe we gotta leave him on the top six. But we need him to grow. So after this game, we'll see if he's grown any. We might have to put him on the, sit, the top six. Sometimes you're supposed to put them one above what they are. Sometimes you're supposed to put them on what they actually are. It's so hard to grow players in this game. Skinner is back. I'm going to put him down there. That's what my instincts tell me. Play him where it says he's supposed to be. still young he can still grow if it doesn't if he doesn't grow much this year that's fine he can still grow a waiver claim Dylan Blutenbuch Even our AHL squad's not really doing much of anything. Let's see how we end off the season here. We 
We might get 30 wins. Eddie Lack. Oh, his best roster. We might as well. Okay, so your year two Carolina Hurricanes. We're right at the beginning of a reboot, really. 26, 45, and 8. Let's see who did what for us and around the league. Forwards, Victor Rask, 58 points. Skinner, a little bit of a down year. I kind of expected more from him. Even Marshan, kind of expected more from him when we picked him up to be the veteran that I traded to install away. You know, at the same age. But Marshan's on a better contract. Two years, only two years, not six. Taravon in 47, Lindholm 30, Di Giuseppe, Leguan. Falk with 46, Pesci, Hannafin. Hopefully he grows. And I realized we could have traded our goalies. Oh well. At the trade deadline. Let's go forwards. For the entire league. Goals. Tavares with 42. Assists. Taze with 55. But points. Tavares, Tarasenko, Voracek, Taze, and all these guys. The points in this game just aren't realistic at all. They weren't in last year's next gen. Or current gen or whatever you want to call it. I guess it's current gen. I uh, said that they suck. That they need to get more points. And they still. Pretty much the same. Forty two and eighteen for Rask. Looks like Mantha's gonna win the Calder. Let's check out the progress reports. Dell got Hannafin only one. Yeah, maybe I should have been playing him in a different spot. Let me know your opinions on that. Um, so some good growth from these two. They don't have a huge future on the team, but a good Jesper Bolquist. Bean might be ready for next year, not sure. Same with Flurry. Well, I think we should figure out where we draft at. But that would take a lot of simulating, so I'm not. But I can tell you we are going to probably be one of the first teams to draft. So we have ours in New Jersey. New Jersey hopefully made the playoffs. If not, they made a dumb trade. Did I miss them? Yeah, New Jersey. So it looks like we got the 6th. Not the 6th, but the 30th, 29th, 28th, 27th, 26th, 25th. Of course, that could change depending on how good they do in the playoffs. We're hoping a first round exit. So that pick could be anywhere from like 20 to 30, even lower. 
but the one that we like is Carolina. We were dead last. Are we going to win the lottery? Maybe, but we're definitely going to have the first, second, third, or fourth pick. Fourth is the worst we can get. So let's just take a look here. A goalie and a defenseman would be good two picks for the first round if you ask me. Forwards are more common to get in free agency. We have a few forward prospects. But maybe we should get another forward because we don't have that all-star sniper. I mean, yes, Skinner, but he's going to be older than the bunch. So we want to go to scouted players. How in the world do I get there? Through the trade and improve menu. Scouting. It is got assignment, view all prospects in region. I don't want to view them all in this region. I just want to scouted players. Why is that not under scouting? Oh, this game. List all scouted players. Yep. It doesn't say where they're going to go. I hate this game so much. So, whatever. We will just, I guess I'll have to make a decision. Just tell me what should we get with our f one, two, three, or fourth pick, a defenseman or a goalie. I'd say goalie if there's one available. But I want to thank everyone for watching. I ask that you please come back for the next episode. I'll see you next time, and have a good